Welcome back to A Taste of K. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I prep this hash using butternut squash. I had some butternut squash on hand, didn't really know what to do with it. Once I did a Google search, I did find this recipe on KellyoRunningMama.com. You can find the link in the description box below to see how she made hers. Me, I'm using one butternut squash, six slices of bacon, one apple, I had the honey crisp apple on hand, half of a red onion, two tablespoon coconut oil, sea salt, black pepper, parsley flakes, as well as rosemary. I diced up the red onion, bacon, the apple, as well as the butternut squash. In a large mixing bowl, I have the diced butternut squash. To that, I'll add the parsley flakes, rosemary, sea salt, as well as two tablespoons of the coconut oil. I'll mix that until the butternut squash is nicely coated with all of these ingredients. I preheated the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. On a baking sheet that has been lined with parchment paper, I go ahead and place the butternut squash. I'll allow this to roast in the oven for 30 minutes. Once it reached 15 minutes, I'll remove it, give it a quick stir, make sure that I place it back in a single layer, and I'll place it back in the oven to finish roasting for the remainder 15 minutes. Now that I have the butternut squash in the oven roasting, in this wok, or you can use a pan, I'm adding the bacon and I'll allow this bacon to cook. I make sure that I stir occasionally so it does not burn. Once the bacon is almost done cooking, I'm going to add in the red onions and allow that to cook for about three to five minutes. The bacon did render a lot of bacon grease. I went ahead and I drained the bacon grease. Now that I have the bacon grease drained, I'm going to add the apples and I'll allow this to cook until the apples start to get soft. This is how the butternut squash looks out of the oven after it's been roasting for 30 minutes. As you can see, I can pierce it with a fork easily. It's nice and soft. The butternut squash is done cooking. I'm also done cooking the bacon, apple, as well as red onion. I'm going to add that to the butternut squash, give it a quick mix, place it back in the oven, still on 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Here is the finished product of the butternut squash hash, which I use butternut squash, red onions, bacon, as well as apples. Don't forget, if you wanna check out the original recipe, you can click the link that's in the description box below.
Thank you for stopping by at A Taste of K here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Also, when you're done watching the videos, feel free to share with your friends and families. Once again, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.